This final track is our most advanced one, but it doesn't mean it's not relevant to those of you still at the beginning of the process because it does provide a fantastic perspective on how digitization will progress in the future so that you can start processing these thoughts already way ahead of time. This track focuses on big data and circularity. Both of these are strongly connected because it's through data that we can optimize our entire process, including end of life. The first two video classes in this track are going to focus on big data and how to use them and basically start of life. So to optimize your design process from a perspective of sustainability through big data. And then the second two classes are talking about how you could use data, including existing databases, to help optimize your end of life process for recycling, biodegradation, remake, and all of that. The first class will focus entirely on big data as such. How do we know what kind of data we even want to collect? Where do we find it inside or outside our company? How could we structure that data? How could we structure the collection of that data? How could we turn that data into actionable information, into real knowledge that we could work with? What systems are available to us to optimize this whole gathering and processing of big data? The second class is directly connected to that because this is about generative design. And this is, in our opinion, the real future of design. This is not about a designer creating shoe by shoe. This is about designers designing systems that create the ideal shoes based upon the preferences of the consumer. So this is the real future of customization. So instead of saying our consumer is going to design their own shoes by direct interaction with our designs or designers, we are going to create systems that collect data from the consumers and can either suggest or design the ideal shoes for them based upon those data. And this could be data about uh, the body, of course, fit, size, weight, um, sports activity, but it could also be data that are about aesthetic preferences that really analyze the consumer's taste. And all those things together could then result in a system that generates the ideal shoes for that consumer. Now, of course, making shoes that are ideal to each consumer and specific to them also greatly prevents overproduction and waste. So it's highly relevant if we are striving for circularity. Now, providing these ideal individualized shoes to the consumer is, of course, the first part of the process. But what happens at the end of life when the consumer wants to throw those shoes away? Of course, ideally, you already want to plan ahead for that and design that cycle. And that is what the final two classes of this course are about. We are going to look at what structures are available to us, how we can digitize this process, how can we look at take back, how can we look at different recycling systems, how can we also see which other companies might be using our waste streams for their processes, or which waste streams from other companies could we use for our processes. There's already a lot available there. There's a lot of data available, but companies are not always aware. And how can we structure this optimally so that everybody who needs to have this knowledge knows where to find it and how to implement it? In the final class, we will look at how our process of digitization could turn into a full circular flow and how each of the parts that we've gone over in the tracks before could be connected together to create the optimal full digital workflow.